In today's challenge, we are going to split and pivot orders in Power Query. The tricky part here is that some rows have multiple values, and we can just use the split column button, because there are two separate columns that need splitting. Instead, we'll create a custom column and edit the formula step by step. We'll start by using the text split function to separate the customers by semicolons and spaces. Let's apply text split to the customers column first. As you can see, we've separated the values correctly. Now let's do the same with the orders column. We can get these values separated just as we need. But how can we combine them correctly? There is a function called listzip that helps us combine multiple lists into a single list, maintaining the same spot in their respective lists. We add both customers and orders lists within curly brackets to make it work. Now we can expand these values into rows. All the rows that contained multiple values are now separated. So we need to extract values from each list, create a new column for customers, and get the first value. Remember, indexes in Power Query start from zero. To get the first element, use curly brackets and type 0. Repeat this process with orders. For the second element, type 1. We also need to transform the order's data to numbers to summarize it properly later. Use the number from text function for this. The final step is to pivot the customer column by order values. And there you have it. Now you know how to split data using listzip and textsplit functions. Thank you for watching, see ya!